Hello, this is Toph from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip for beginners. I was going to proceed to do a quickie for beginners tutorial on the Jark Jarkovis add-on that I did last week, but I came across another add-on that I think needs to be showcased, and it's really really cool, and it's also free. Only thing is, that it's only for 2.93 and above, and that's pretty much it. But I'll leave a link of the uh, add-on in the description below this video. Now, it's, the installation is not as straightforward as the other ones that we've done in the past. And I'll walk you through the process of installing it. So once you've downloaded it onto your computer, go to where you've downloaded it. I've already downloaded it onto mine. And here it is. And you have to extract it more than once to get it to work properly. If you try to install it like this, it's not going to work. And to you can use any extraction uh, software you have, WinZip or WinRAM. I'm using WinRAM. So I'm going to left click on the pull maker uh, zip file, extract files. I'm going to leave it at this same folder. Click OK. I'm going to scroll up to where it's been extracted. I'm going to double click on this again and double click on that. And it's here, but if you try to install this version of it, it still won't work. So you have to extract it again. Left click on that. Right click. Extract files. Leave it in the same folder. Click OK. Now this file is what you want in the add-on folder for 2.93. And you can't really install it from my own experience with You can install it directly through the whole uh, menu for Blender. What you have to do is, let me minimize all this. You have to go to the folder where 2.93 is. And to do that, I'm going to open up another file explorer. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me drag this over. I'm going to go to my PC, do this. C drive, double click on that. Then double click on, let me see if I can remember this correctly, it's a file path users. Click on your computer name, the, the name of my computer is IGB here. Your name is going to be different for your computer. But double click on that. And double click on app data. Double click on roaming. And then double click on Blender Foundation. All these are left clicks. Double click on Blender. And this is 2.93, double click on that. Double click on scripts and add-ons. And once the add-on folder for 2.93 has been opened up, you click and drag the pull maker extracted file into uh, that add-on file for Blender 2.93. And I've already done that myself, so that's already active. So let me open up 2.93 again. <coughs> Now you can you'll wonder well where is it? It's supposed to be in the create tab, but there's no create tab on this side. So in order for the create tab to appear on this side, go to edit, preferences, type in poll, and once you put a checkbox in there, now you have a create tab to work with, and there it is. Now this add-on is it's really is free, and it's surprising that it's free. It's free and it's great. So let's clear out all all of this. And I'm saying the camera, the uh, cube, and the light by pressing A twice, and then delete. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the weather. My throat's getting some kind of phlegm in it, but just ignore that. Now you can use it in object mode or in edit mode. Either way is fine. Uh, single pull. You can just click on single pull, and nothing happens because it wants you to choose what kind of pull you want. Because there are a lot of options. Now it's got. Pole sign, sing, sign post, curve mirror, sign board pole, street light, telegraph. Let's click on telegraph, see what we get. And this, what we get. This is a, this is pretty impressive for something that's free. And it's an, it's a mesh, it's a wavefront object. I'm, I'm assuming because I've looked through the uh, modifiers, and it's not a modifier at all. It's all pure mesh. You can change what kind of uh, pull, telegraph pull you want up here, or change it to a different kind of pull or post up here. Uh, you can change the different type. For myself specifically, I don't, in particular, I don't know that much about uh, different parts of a telephone pole. Um, 
and they've pretty much given you a lot of options. I don't know what, let's just click around and see what we can do. So it says type A, let's start from the top, type A, let's do the type B, let's see what happens. I think something happens here, let's go back to type A. Oh, okay, it changes the, the top, uppermost part of the pole into something else. Oh, it puts it off to the side, that's pretty cool. Type C. Wow, this is this is really 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 nice. Oh, okay. That also looks impressive. So let's go to the second part of the poll, which I'm assuming is this part here, which is uh, arm LV type B. Oh, there it is. It changes that part of the poll. Type C. That looks nice also. And then the arm communication. I'm assuming that's what that is. Type B. Oh, that's at the bottom. Type C. Okay, that's two of them. Okay, let's see. Footage bolts. Let's click on that. Let's see what that does. Okay, it adds it adds these little poles that the workers climb on, I guess, to get to the top of the transformer to work on it. That's also impressive. You can flip the direction, change the randomness, rotation, all that. So that's for a free add-on, this is really, really nice. Okay. Um, you can add more than one poll. And there's something interesting that it does. Let, let me, let's press A on our keyboard and delete this. And use it in edit mode. So shift A on our keyboard. Go to mesh. Plane. Let's drag this up. Scroll up with our mouse wheel. And go into edit mode by pressing tab. And press A to deselect all points of the mesh. Let's click on that part. Delete. And this part, we can keep that part, I guess. Let's see what this does in edit mode. Let's drag this out a little bit. Uh, come on, don't tell me that it's stuck. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was freezing up for a second. Okay, so let's press B on our keyboard and select all these points here. And click on telegraph. And it creates three telegraph poles on each point of that of our of our mesh there so you have like more than one pole in your scene so if you have like a sidewalk you can like pretty much line up vertices across up and down your sidewalk select all of them and then create uh, press telegraph button press the telegraph button and they'll create uh, a line of, t of uh, poles for you which is uh, pretty nice now you have to have wires with your poles, and it also keeps all the changes that see all the changes that we made to the first pole is kept all those, which is also helpful. And let's see what else we can do. Because I think you can connect all these together. Auto connect. Click that, and look, yeah, telephone wires. That is really really nice, and this is a free add-on for 2.93. This is. This can save a lot of time if you're working on a street scene or uh, a city scene and you don't want to pretty much download um, wavefront object pulls from different sites like uh, I don't know, all the sites that are available for you to download things from. You can just make them yourself. And once you've made them, if you don't if you want if you don't want to stay in 2.93, you can just export these as wavefront objects to use in another uh, package, which is cool. Now they've it's got other options like street lights. And I think you can put street lights on these too. Let me see. Lamp. Okay, you can put lamps on it. Yeah, so this is this is nice. Now when I uh, when you go to the link where you can download the uh, the add-on, it would be I think the person that developed the uh, fence generator. They're the same person that developed this add-on because it's they're both in China or Japanese, I think. That's my assumption. But just go to the download link. It, the word download will be written in English, so just click on that and you'll be able to download the uh, add-on yourself and use it at your at your you know at your pleasure. Yeah. Now that seems to be like the most interesting part to me it is, but let's look at uh, a few more of these uh, posts here. Let's delete this, press A twice. Let me see. Maybe it's B. Oh, let me press delete the vertices. A twice. Oh. Hopefully this isn't freezing up. 
Okay, because that's one thing I'm concerned about. I'll get out of edit mode. I'm still in edit mode. Okay, delete. Let me see. Um, what happened to my the other options here? Single poll. Let's click on that. And let's see what else. Let's 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 look through a few more of these options here. Let's see what we can uh, else we can make. Street lights. That looks nice. And different types. There's only one type. Sidewalk. Driveway. Okay, driveway is higher up. Oh, that's that's nice. The driveway uh, street light is higher, taller than the sidewalk one. Uh, park. Let's click on that. Let's see what we get. Oh, uh, this is nice too. Okay. And let's look at one more pole sign. Let's click on that. Oh, like a drive-in or something like that. What are the options that we have in terms of? Okay, can make a circle. No. Oh, so there's there's the circle. Okay. This is this is it's something you can you can uh and the things I've seen with this is that it doesn't provide you with slots for textures, which still isn't a pro excuse me still isn't a problem. You can just you know paste on the textures yourself. So that's not not a big deal. But yeah, this is today's uh, Blender add-on, which is the uh, pole maker. Which is um, like I said, I'm pretty impressed by this one also. The Darkovis one was great, but this one's even better. Let me do one more. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Single pull. That's it. So this is today's uh Blender add-on. Quick tip. Signpost. This is another signpost, like for uh highway signs or street signs. Oh wow, that this is nice. Make a small one too, like in the middle of a uh, crossroads. That's also nice. So this is uh, today's uh, Blender Quick Tip add-on here, which is the Pole Maker. So download it uh, yourselves and just you know take it for a spin. This is really really nice. So uh, once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. And those of you who are subscribing now, and those who you, you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and thank you guys for watching the videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.